Hey guys, God bless you. Got another very important video for you guys today. Today I am doing another Bible in context. And today's scripture is going to be Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Now the reason why I'm sharing this scripture specifically on this day is because a lot of us are guilty, including myself, of using this scripture as a New Year scripture. And using this scripture as in, okay, it's a new year, God is doing something new now. Because the new year comes forth, God is going to do something new, He's going to move in a different way. And the reason why that is problematic is because now we've limited God to working at specific times. So now God has to wait for a new year to come abroad so he can be used, so that he can use his power to give us what we're asking for, to give us what we need. God doesn't work that way. God does not have to wait for a certain time, for a certain year, for a certain matter. God works when God wants to work. Another problem is we can easily give people some false hope with it. We can easily read this verse and say, okay, God is going to do something new. Yes, your 2023 was probably really bad, but don't worry about it. 2024 will be amazing. And you see, the problem I have with that is how many messages did we hear like that when the clock struck 12 and it was 2020? that 2020 is going to be the most prosperous year. Uh, 2019 was probably a bad year, but 2020 is going to be great. And then we got struck with a pandemic. And in 2020 easily became the worst year in our recent history. The worst year our generation ever seen. We've lost loved ones, many loved ones, many churches closed down. Many well-respected people fell away from being a servant of the Lord. But we heard many messages, including this one, saying that God is going to do something new and open up the waters and make rivers and just giving people all this false hope. Now you see, the context is key of this scripture, the same as it is for every scripture in the Bible. Let's read, instead of going a little higher, Let's read a little lower. Look what it says here in verse 21. The people whom I formed for myself, that they might declare my praise. So God is explaining that he chose the Israelites to give him worship and praise and glory. But then look what he says here in verse 22. Yet you do not call upon me, O Jacob, but you have been weary of me, O Israel. Look what God is saying to the people here. He became a burden to them. He's telling them that you made me a burden. You became weary of me. You don't love me the way your forefathers did. So what is he going to do? A new thing. And what is that new thing? Let's go to verse 25. I, I am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake, and I will not remember your sins. The new thing God was doing was sending his son, Jesus Christ, to die on a cross for you and for me. Look at what it says. Let's go back to verse 19. I am doing a new thing now, it springs forth, you not perceive it. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. We are Gentiles. We are filthy Gentiles that never followed God. We do not deserve grace from Jesus Christ. We were in the desert. We were in the wilderness. So he made a way in the wilderness so that we can believe. He made rivers in the desert that we may drink the living water. To drink of the living water, to be saved by Jesus Christ. And the way that I could confirm this even more 
is down in verse 28. Therefore, I will profane the princes of the sanctuary and deliver Jacob to utter destruction and Israel to reviling. You see, the Israelites were so stubborn hearted to God. What did he do? He sent down his son so that whoever believes in his son and not follows the way of the Israelites anymore, but that follows his son and believes in his son will be saved. And what did he do? He did exactly what he said he was going to do. He delivered the Israelites into destruction. They were destroyed in the Babylonian exile, in the Roman exile, in today's day and age, because they reject his only son. So long story short, the next time you hear this verse, keep in mind, this is not talking about God working in the new year. This is talking about something that already happened. This is saying he will make a way in the wilderness. Well, I want to tell you today, he already made that way. We cannot take the scripture and apply it to New Year's and saying that God is going to give you whatever you want because Isaiah 43, 19 says so. It does not say that. It is speaking of the then coming Messiah and the now came 2,000 years ago Messiah to save us. God bless you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a great new year. Happy new year and God bless to all of you. God bless.